everyone, how is it going? I haven't streamed in a little bit. Um, yeah, I've just been, uh, my wrist has been on and off, um, hurting on and off. And I'm, I've been dealing with this is issue for like over a month now. So, uh, and I've been resting it and stuff. So I think, uh, I'm going to go see a doctor next week for sure. Um, and see what is going on, but, um, but I'm not going to completely, um, give up everything. Um, I'm going to try and stream when I can, basically. If I'm, my wrist is feeling okay, then I'm going to stream. Um, yeah, because, um, I don't want, unless my doctor tells me that I act, absolutely have to give up everything. Um, I think I, I don't want to completely not use it because I feel like that's just going to make my wrist weaker. So I think doing a little bit of movement is a good thing. Um, but yeah, I am excited to try out a new game, although I am very nervous as well because this game, well, I'm nervous to try a new game in general, but also, this game is a first-person shooter. It's a horror game, but it's also a first-person shooter, and I don't play those enough. I like first-person shooters, but I just don't play them very often. And, um... Uh-oh. I'm gonna have to change the settings, because I can't see anything. <laughs> Hold on. I'll have to wait till I... It's like taking up two screens for some reason. That is really weird. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna have to change the settings. Whoa, I can't see it at all. Hold on. Why is it, like, doing that? Okay. Options, please. Oh! You know what it is. I need to leave. <laughs> um, yes. I think it is in, um, I think I have to make sure it's not in VR mode. Uh, cause I know that this game, I'm pretty sure this game you can play it with a VR. But, uh, I'm not sure. Hold on, I gotta make sure I don't play it in VR mode, cause... Um, let's see. Just a second. Uh, there's no way to do that. I'm so confused. That's so weird. Okay, it's it's good now. I don't know why it did that. All right, there we go. That's better. Didn't seem like it looked bad for you guys, but it was taking up both monitors. Oh, hey, Cleric. Um, hey, Kimu, just off to bed, but wanted to say hi. This game is ace, by the way. And I'll host you. Oh, thank you. Um. Oh. Having some technical difficulties, though. Um. Uh, yeah, uh, thank you for hosting me, Cleric, and thank you for stopping by. I still, I, I really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, I hope, I hope I will like this game, probably. I'm probably gonna suck, though, because I don't play first-person shooters very often. Um. Uh, 
Wait, controller. Welcome, pro tip, explore everywhere. Good night. Thank you. Thanks for the tip. Hmm, it won't let me... Maybe I need to use my Steam controller instead. have trouble with controllers. Okay, hold on. <laughs> would prefer to play with a controller. Okay. Yeah, that works. New game plus. Don't know what I'm gonna say all dialogue for that. Okay. I think that's good though. I'll change them later if I need to. I don't know what New Game Plus is. Um, I think I'm just gonna do New Game. Um, also, is the music too loud? Does it sound okay? Um, okay, that makes the game more challenging. I don't think I want to. Um, easy. Survival won't be a problem for you. Probably. I'm scared of doing... I think I'm gonna pick normal. I don't... Hopefully that is okay. <laughs> Definitely not gonna do hard, that's for sure. <sighs> I'm really nervous. Um, since I have the option, yeah, I think I'm going to be female. <laughs> um, you wake up in your apartment in the year 2032. Now entering your apartment. Okay. Yeah, let me know if the music is too loud, because it does sound lo a little loud in my ears. But I don't know how loud it is for the um, for the stream. I might have to turn it down. Good to morning, be Morgan. Today is Monday, March fifteenth, twenty thirty-two.
first day on the job. Put on your transfer uniform. Okay. Uh, the main thing I'm most worried about with this game actually is getting dizzy because these kind of games can make me dizzy sometimes. Um, I don't know. I feel like any game can really <laughs> make me dizzy. I get dizzy pretty easily. I get motion sickness a lot. Um, I'm gonna go read this thing first. Um, wait. Wait, I'm sorry, I'm learning the controls. Um. Oh, wait. Not sure. Oh, okay. Maybe. Oh, okay, there we go. Maybe. I don't know. This is kind of weird. These controls are a little weird. It's going to take me some getting used to, that's for sure. Okay. Um, I'm trying to read this, but, uh, you know what, maybe I should try with the mouse. Hmm. Hmm. Let me look at... Um, can I look at the options? Oops, I pressed the wrong button. Oh, there we go. There we go, that's what I wanted. <laughs> okay. Ah, I pressed the wrong button. Okay, so you can change the difficulty in the middle of it. Good to know. These controls are very strange. Let me see this real quick. Now it won't let me use the mouse at all. Uh, sorry for the uh, the technical difficulties right now. 
Um, uh, they make this really confusing. Um, it looks like, I just, I wish it was, you could use a different controller. You should be able to use a different controller. Hold on, I'm, I'm gonna take a break and figure this out, and then I will come back once I figured it out, okay? Uh, just one second. All right, I figured out how to get it back to the mouse controls. I'm gonna try just using the mouse and see how I do with that. Hopefully it's okay. Um, yeah, we'll see. Okay, <laughs> that's better. Um, okay, warning, neuromods should only be administered by certified Transstar technicians under controlled conditions. Um, subject may experience slight discomfort, swelling, or redness of the eye shortly afterward. Remove one, no, remove Noramod from vacuum sealed container. Two, press rubberized eye cup firmly against bony orbit of eye socket. Three, keep eye open. Oof. Uh, four, depress orange release trigger and continue to hold Neuromod against eye for five minutes. Five, dispose of used Neuromod and provided biohazard bag. That sounds, uh, creepy. Oh, put, I don't know, just putting st stuff in your eye. <sighs> okay. Um. Well, specifically putting, like, it's like a needle thing or something. I saw the trailer and it, it looked, it made me cringe. Okay, um, there we go. Yeah, the, um, mouse and keyboard controls look, um, they seem to make more sense than <laughs> the controller controls. Okay, I'm just trying to figure this out a little bit. Yeah, this makes so much more sense. Oh, you can climb. Okay. Speech synthesis, synthesis and natural language generation. Um, 
excerpt from chapter three of Speech Synthesis and Natural Language Generation by Sebastian Smith. Voice conversion technology enables synthesis systems to generate speech patterns based on their source or entirely new voices without the need for exhaustive recordings and pre-processing. The quality of the resulting voice depends on the training data as well as the precision of the conversation uh, of the conversion function and limitations on processing power. Huh. Not sure what that means. Okay, I'm gonna take everything. Hmm. Um, hands on electronics. Excerpt from the prefor preface of ha to Hands on Electronics by Antoinette Sokol. By working through a series of practical experiments, this humble manual will introduce you to the fundamentals of modern analog and digital electronics. By the end, you will be able to construct any simple circuit. As Thomas Edison once said, to invent, you need a good imagination and a pile of junk. Enter password. Can I, can I enter the password? Um, Transtar employee workstations often contain useful information, files, and u utilities. Nice. Okay. Um, congrats and welcome from Thomas Tucker. Hello, Morgan. So glad to hear you'll be coming aboard soon. Your first official work day is Monday, m March 15th. But first, we have a series of training exercises we run with all new employees. Just some stuff to clear you for life in orbit. Exciting times ahead. Have a good flight, and I will see you soon. Okay. Um, delivery. Hey, I sent a package with everything you'll need for your first day. Uniform, transcribe, and a neuromod. Uh, I don't want to do the neuromod. <laughs> Install the neuromod right away, and we'll be running some tests for th first thing in the morning. Just follow the instructions. I'll be in touch. Um, ready? Hey, I just got off the phone. This is from Alex. You. Um, with mom and dad. They won't be there when the shuttle departs. They're in New York. Company stuff. Well, they send their best. I think mom's a little disturbed that both her children are going to be outside her gravitational pull at the same time. She said you'd better ha behave and do something, your big brother says. Okay. Actually, she said the opposite. I'm supposed to behave and do what you tell me. So there you go. That's mom. Anyway, everyone's excited about your ideas up there. So get ready. I'll probably call you in the morning to make sure you're up. See you very, very soon, Morgan. All right. Okay. Well, I guess that's that. Okay. Maybe I should... There's still stuff to look at. Um... Consider that there are billions of stars in the galaxy like our sun, many of them far older. Some of these stars will have Earth-like planets. Some of these planets may have developed intelligent life. Some intelligent life may develop interstellar travel. If a civilization began before ours, it seems possible, even probable, that even at the speed of currently envisioned interstellar travel, they could already have the entire galaxy colonized. The problem is we haven't detected any such civilizations, nor have any contacted us. Why? Hmm. Interesting. Um, the nature of consciousness remains deeply mysterious. How can the subjective nature of experience, my inner life, be explained in scientific terms? 
Does consciousness emerge from complex computations among brain neurons, or is it a fundamental and irreductible property woven into the fabric of the universe? Hmm. There's a lot of stuff to read. Um, the brain was once considered too warm, wet, and noisy for seemingly de delicate quantum processes. However, the discovery of quantum coherence in biological processes, such, a plant, uh, such as plant photosynthesis, avian navigation, and our own sense of smell, paved the way for the eventual discovery of quantum vibrations inside the mo microtubulus of neurons. Um, there's a metaphor here, you know, typically the, ob the objective of control theory is to monitor the output of a system and compare it with the desired output, the reference signal, the difference between the actual and the desired outputs is applied as feedback to the input of the system to bring the actual output closer to the reference. Good control systems and good engineers learn from the past. Yeah, I'm not sure how any of this stuff, I don't know, I don't understand any of that stuff really. Um, I don't know how it is related to like what's going on here, if it is at all. If there's got to be too much stuff to read and not all of it is important, I might not read everything. I usually like reading everything, but not if there's too much. All right, I think I looked at everything possibly. Ooh, I can take the wine. I'm just gonna take it. Um, what if I told you I could turn you into a mathematician at, on the level of Einstein in under 10 minutes? I'd say you're full of it. That's the first thought that crossed my mind, but it withers in the face of Alex Yu's conviction. Despite myself, I'm riveted. He's not bullshitting me. Himself? Maybe. Me? No. Alex leans back in his chair. Welcome to the age of the neuromod. Ooh. And there's some mail. Congrats, Morgan. Nice. Yeah, I feel like this isn't isn't important. Probably. Should I take everything? I don't know. Um, I shouldn't turn the stove on. Probably. Okay, I'm also kind of trying to like get. Hey, how's it going? Um, I'm also trying to get used to the. Uh, controls as well. Oh, there's more stuff in here. There's nothing in there. All right, time to move on. Gotta put on my uniform. Get in the helicopter on the roof if you're Okay, um, I've been great tonight and how are you today? Your king just watched Resident Evil 8 tonight. Oh, really? Um, I am doing okay. My, um, wrist isn't, uh, I've been still dealing with the wrist issue lately, but, um, it's not doing, it's not hurting too much right now, so. I'm doing okay. And nice, watching, you, you watched Resident Evil 8. I've seen a little bit of it, I think. That's the, um... Resident Evil uh, Village? Morning with you. 
Is that what it's called? Because I, I watched a little bit of it. Not very much, but... These things can be tricky, you know? Heard there's a chopper on the roof. Must be for you. Hold on, I need to change settings real quick. Because I think... Yeah, it just says main dialogue. I want all dialogue. But yeah, I'm glad you're doing okay. Well, I'm glad you're doing great. You'll have to take the elevator. Okay, thank you. Alright, I guess I'll go find the elevator then. Use space to jump and shift to sprint. I'm a little worried about using the... Just the mouse and keyboard with this game. <laughs> I'm hoping that I can figure something out so I can um, use a controller, but... All right, let's, uh, let's go up. All right. Ms. Yu, please make yourself comfortable and we'll be on our way. Transstar facility is just a short hop. 78 degrees, clear skies all the way. Nice. Looks pretty cool. That's a nice view on the bay there. Mm -hmm. uh, and if he is not helping with Amnesia the Dark Descent tonight, I will help you with Amnesia the Dark Descent again. Um, well, I finished the Amnesia the Dark Descent, so. Now I'm going to be playing that one again. Um, I will be playing Amnesia Machine for Pigs at some point, but um, I'm going to take a break and play... Ooh, that's cool. Um, I'm going to play this game first, and then I might go back to Amnesia. Here we are, Ms. Sure. Mind the glass on the way out. Good luck to you. Report to the test center. All right. Hello, Dr. Yu. I'm a Sybil 495 science class operator. Hmm. All right. Our research often requires intense focus and long hours. I can provide you with a psychoactive stimulant after the test, if necessary. Okay. Interesting. Welcome, Morgan Yu. You have a 9 a.m. appointment in the testing facility. Please confirm. Um. All right. I'm nervous. I don't know what's going to happen. Morgan, finally. Uh oh, my mouse is. Um, 
will be ready to help you with amnesia machine for big soon. Cool. Thanks. Hey, you don't look terrible in a Transtar uniform. How's Thanks. your eye? Still red? I know the test might seem a little unconventional, but it's a you family tradition. Breaking convention is in our blood. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. Don't overthink it. Dr. Bellamy's gonna walk you through the process. You're in good hands. Mm, we'll be in orbit okay. next week. I promise. Mr. Yu, they're ready for your sister in room A. Right. Listen, just be yourself. I'll see you after. Okay. I'm nervous. What if I told you I could turn you into... Oh, I, I already read this. Yeah, I already read that. Okay, guess I will go. Oh no. Oh, I'm really nervous. What is going to happen? Good morning, Morgan. I'm Dr. Bellamy. Looks like we have some tests to run through today. Probably not the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but trust me, you're going to do fantastic. All good? Great. Let's begin. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Just go with your gut. Okay? Wonderful. Press the red button when you're ready. All right. Wonderful. That's... You're absolutely fine. Uh, let's move on to room B, then. <sighs> There's a chair. Okay, Morgan. Listen carefully. I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Take your time. Relax. Think it over. No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. Hit the red button when you're ready to start. Uh. What? I don't know how to. Is she? She's hiding behind the chair. I don't know how. Hmm, uh... I don't know Any how to crouch. Synaptic register, at all? No. no that's fine. <laughs> I don't know how to. Con <laughs> they're they're teaching me the controls. That's what's going on right now. How do I see? Okay. Sorry, let's keep things moving, Morgan. Okay. Head into room C. There we go. You're doing marvelous. No, I'm doing terrible, but thanks. <laughs> thanks for trying to make me feel better. All right. Here we go. For this test, Please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most natural, intuitive way possible, without thinking. Just, just go for it. Okay. Press the red button when you're ready. I'm sorry, can someone please explain to me what's happening? Simmons? I installed exactly what Tina brought down. Did you double check? Speaker still on. I apologize, Morgan. We're what? having some trouble with the equipment. Not your fault. You're doing fabulous, actually. One last room. Let's step into D. Okay, let's go. Can someone get me a cup of coffee? I would appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, Morgan. Have a seat at the table for me, please. Wonderful job. Take a look at the screen in front of you. I'm going to show you a series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. Press start on the screen when you're ready. OK. 
Okay. You're planning a vacation. Go somewhere familiar you know you love or try something new. Whenever you're ready, Morgan. Ah, it's hard. Good. Looks like you've got the hang of it. Keep going. You've been sentenced to death for your actions. How does this make you feel? Afraid. I don't know what will happen. Angry. No one has that right. Um... Afraid, probably. Ooh, that's heavy stuff. Um, a runaway train is bearing down on five people who are tied to the track. You can cause a train to switch tracks, but there is one person tied to the second track. Ugh, I hate these questions. But five people, ugh, do nothing. Um. Good. Next. Um, okay. A runaway train is bearing down on five people. You're standing on the platform next to an enormously fat man. Pushing him into the track would stop the train. Oh my god. But this, this is actually, oh. I don't want to, but still. I don't know. <laughs> Am I awful for saying this? But but it's five people that are going to die. Almost done. Oh god, I hate these questions. Um a runaway train is bearing down on five people tied to the track. You could stop the train by jumping onto the track, but you will die. Push the fat man. I'll I'll jump on the tracks. I'll wow. sacrifice myself. I'm impressed. Well done. Well done. We're nearly through it. For this next part, I'm going to display an image. I want you to take a good look at it. In a moment, I'm going to ask you what... Uh, is my coffee? It's empty. Oh. 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 Oh, shit. Um, did I just die? <gasps> wow, I had to get away pretty quickly. Wow, I did not expect to die right there. Oh, I didn't die. Okay. What's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? She's alive, sedated. Okay. Clean it up. I'm on my way. I didn't die. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. All right. What just happened? Um. Oh. There's a bunch of stuff for me to pick up. Anything new in here? Yeah, I have six. Skills. Danger, leave now. Danger, leave now. Danger, leave now. Danger, leave now. Wow. Okay. I should leave then, huh? <sighs> So much better. Um. Why did I- I dropped everything, I guess. Hmm. Interesting. 
sorry, but I don't want to read all that stuff again. Um, what? Oh my god. That, uh, that looks terrible. Um, Hello, Morgan. It's time we spoke. My code name is January. You're not dreaming. What happened yesterday was real. If you want to know what's going on, first, you need to get out of your apartment building. Okay. You're not safe. Um, how? How do I escape? Wasn't there an elevator over here? Ugh. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Oh, maybe I need to go out this way. Oh, I'm using all my batteries. Oh. Yeah, I guess so. What? What is going on? Okay. So, um... My apartment wasn't real, huh? I guess not. Um... Daily tests from Sylvain Bellamy. If you've been on branches of our main product line, you know that sometimes we need to put in, in, in extra efforts to hit our milestones. And any external risks are fully taken into account when these decisions are made. The move to extend indefinitely was a direct request from both Alex and Morgan. Um, oops, oops. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Um, at this point, Morgan's exhaustion is an ability inhibit wait inhibiting our ability to get any useful results that's to say nothing of the long-term damage we're likely inflicting from the constant neuromod installation and removal tell me again why we've extended the testing indefinitely a note about this morning from alex here all I know this morning's incident has left people shaken. To prevent unnecessary panic, re please refrain from contacting people outside of your department. A station-wide announcement will be made shortly. In the meantime, Miss Alazar and her security team are on high, aler high alert and will field any requests you have. I know some of you are worried about Dr. Bellamy. He is currently being treated in the trauma center and is in critical but stable condition. Thank you for your patience and dedication to this project. Alex, you. Um, okay. Is this a sleeping? Okay. 731 wakes up, turns off alarm. 732 checks transcribe. On computer, various tasks. Takes shower, puts on uniform, 
So they were keeping an eye on me then, huh? Kinda creepy. All right. Which way should I go? To ch I'm not sure what she said. Oops. Um. Is there? How do you go to your menu? I think I'm gonna go this way. What is that noise? What is that noise? I don't like it. I don't know. Oh, wait. Okay. Hmm. I need to... Wait, what's this? I keep accidentally pressing that button. Okay, um, a reminder about company po password policy. This is just a friendly reminder from the relevant portion of the policy handbook. Um, do not share your password with anyone. Passwords are sensitive confidential information. Passwords must be not be inserted into email messages, transcribed conversations, or other forms of communication. Do not write down passwords and store them anywhere in your office. Um, if you suspect your password has been compromised, report it to IT immediately. Users will be held responsible for any activity that occurs on a workstation that has been compromised and not reported. Um, I've already read that. Bad install. Sim as the test results today were all negative. Did you install the correct neuromods? Touch base with Graves and figure out what went wrong. This should be your absolute highest priority. Okay. Um, yeah, I need to figure out how to, oh, okay, there we go. Um, no, I'm just trying to see if, is it, wait. Nope. Okay. I need to figure out what... Was there something on here? Hmm. No. I don't know how to get into the safe. 
I want to get into the safe somehow, but... Oh, the safe code is... Dang. Is a standard issue for all maintenance personnel employed. Good for liberal application of progressive. Hmm. Okay. Why are you telling me that right now? back in my room. I'm scared. I'm gonna say. Shut up now. Um. Um. This is free. I'm so scared. <laughs> uh, I was so worried I messed up too. Oh, I see something. I see something over there. <laughs> What did I just do? Is he behind glass? Looks like he is. At least for now. Um, that's the same thing. Um, 
author has seen transition times include when subject Morgan Yu is inside the elevator during maintenance operations between test runs. Report any technical issues immediately to Dr. Sylvain Bellamy. Um, test rooms affected ABC. What am I doing? I guess, uh, I should probably go back to the facility. Okay, I am gonna go see what's out here. Oof. Oh shit. I'm scared. Typhon Cacoplasmus. Everyone calls them mimics. Be careful what you pick up. Be careful what I pick up. Oh. Because they can mimic things? Shit. Okay. Um. That's pretty scary. note about this morning. What does it say? Alex has requested all orders go through him after Morgan's outburst at the debrief. Pending a psych evaluation, Alex indicated he doesn't want any more surprises from Morgan, nor do we. Granted, Morgan had forgotten everything from the last test, as expected, but the aggressive response to the same set of testing criteria was a, clearly a departure. My recommendation is we need to start ch charting personality drift before future tests and debriefings and within the test itself. What? Hmm. Okay. Hold on, I feel like... Oh shit! You leave me the fuck alone. I don't want to deal with you right now. Leave me alone. Please leave me alone. I just want to go back. Hmm. Okay. I just want to make sure I, I looked at everything. Because there was another um, area that I didn't go to. Where was it? It was this way. I also didn't get into the, um, the safe, but I don't know how to get into the safe. 
because this wait this says safe code is blah 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 but I don't know oh shit is there another mimic oh okay Um, yeah, I'm gonna go this way. <sighs> I don't know if there's gonna be anything over here, but... Why is there so much wine? Oh shit! Okay, I'm not picking those things up, that's for sure. Oh no! I'm so scared! Don't attack me, please! Oh god. Uh, they keep making me jump. Okay, I think. I don't know where he went. Oh, he is uh, going crazy. Okay. Um. All right. I'm gonna go this way. Okay. Time to move on. Maybe I can open that safe later. Is he still there? Probably not, huh? Oh, yes, he is. Okay. You leave me alone, please. I just want to move on. Okay, I'm gonna go upstairs. Oof, this game is making me a little bit dizzy, but not too bad yet. That wasn't- that- that wasn't a good sound. I don't like that sound. God. Oh shit. That's not good. No one has been able to stop the mimics from multiplying since they broke containment. I'm going to help you stay alive. Just a little further. Okay. That is 
is a terrible way to go. Jeez. That's so scary that they mimic things. <laughs> Yvonne, we will need the room updated for the new test plan. Configuration is, <laughs> configurations are as follows. Room A, area effect. Room B, copycat. Room C, spooky actions. Is spooky action. Simmons, let us know if anything changes. Urgent. Hey, I think Be uh, Bellamy... Wait, what? I think Bellamy's taken data related to mimicry and remote manipulation out of the research department. Get to the trauma center and grab the key card to his cabin off his body. I'm sorry to be morbid, but Alex will lose his shit if someone else finds that data. Oh. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> experiment with different approaches to overcome challenges and enemies. You can get past the locked door by searching for the key cord or finding an alternate path. As you learn abilities, more options will become available to you. Okay. Good to know. Um. You, you know what, I think I'm, I think I'm actually going to take a quick break because I'm getting a little bit of a headache. Um, yeah, and I need to, my wrist is hurting a little bit, so I just, I think I just need to take a quick break. But I will be right back. Okay, I am back, finally. Um, I, was, I, I was getting really dizzy, so I had to step away from the screen for a little bit. Um, but I feel a little bit better now. Okay, and I'm probably only going to play for like another half hour, probably, because um, I don't want to warm my wrist out too much. That's the main thing. Um... Yeah, so I'm trying to stick to only doing, like, two-hour streams, basically, right now. Did I look at this yet? No. Error. It's because I can't look at it, really. What is that flashing? Oh, maybe there's something on the other side. Maybe that's where the key is? Possibly? Don't know. I can't... Oops. Oops. Okay, um... Simulation question. Hey Alice, I'll send you the white paper Alex and Morgan wrote. Here's the nutshell version for now. Gaining a new skill from a neuromod works similar to the way your brain creates new memories. In fact, it's impossible for now to separate the changes the mod makes from normal memory formation. So if I want to strip the neuromod that makes you play piano like Gustav Leitner, 
not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but hopefully. Um, it'll reset your brain back to the moment before you first installed it. Hmm. They wanted Morgan's mind pristine. Oops. Pristine to receive the prototype neuromods. That means going way the hell back. Hence the apartment sim. Yes, are dedicated to their science is all I can say. Um, hit me up for lunch later. Simmons. I keep <laughs> still getting used to the controls a little bit. Oh, now it's showing that again. Okay. I'm sure there is a mimic in here somewhere, right? Um, reorder tests, Lucia on observation, um, flammability tests canceled indefinitely. Alex wants to greet more of a protest. Oh, 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 shit. Jeez. I killed it. I just just kept whacking it. <sighs> that was scary. Okay. Um Whoa. Okay, so did I I failed every single one? Why? How did I, f I- I did what they asked me to do. For that- I understand this one, why I failed that one, but... Hmm. Shit. Don't mess with me. I got a key card. Um Okay. Here are the results from today's personality test. I'm seeing some drift over the last few trials compared with previous results. This isn't the first time. I'll let Alex know. Most recent test is past pasted below for reference. You're planning a vacation, going go somewhere familiar no one love. You know you love or try something new. Yeah, this is uh my personality results. Okay. Um at this point Morgan's exhaustion is inhibiting our ability to get any useful results. That's to say nothing of the long-term damage we're likely inflicting from the constant neuromod installation and removal. Tell me again why we've extended the testing indefinitely. Um, have my people been coming to you? This is from Matthias Cole. Um, so, yes, I, I've noticed the same thing. You know I can't divulge names, but there's definitely been a spike in staff from your department reporting instances of acute anxiety. It's actually much worse than with the psychotronic staff. I'm talking to Kelstrup about my mitigating some of the stress here, but I'm concerned these are not isolated incidents. I'm going to mention to, it to Alex at the next director's meeting. Matthias Cole. Okay. All right. Where did that? There we go. Oh, I think he's in this chair. That stool. And I don't think there's anything else in here, probably. So I'm gonna have to go past it. Ah!
Jesus. <sighs> Jeez, that was tough. I didn't realize there was another one. Ugh. Okay. Oh, my heart is racing. Still, I'm killing them. Um, how do I... Okay. Because I know... Oh, okay, there we go. But I just did it. Cool. Alright. Wait. Isn't that... That's where I came from, right? Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna... Did I look in over here? No, I don't think I did. There's nothing else in here. Okay. Just want to make sure. Oh shit, there's another mimic somewhere. Oh! That's a big guy. Um, no. That was a phantom. Typhon Anthrophantasmus. Keep moving. I don't want to though. I want to just go and hide. I was too big. I'm not gonna be able to fight him off. Um, I'm not gonna read this. Okay. Um. Okay, there's a mimic over there. Might be able to deal with him, at least. <sighs> okay. I got that guy. What is this? <sighs> oh, okay. I can't use it. I can't repair it yet, either. Okay. Glue cannon disables and or immobilizes targets without harming them. Glue can extinguish flames and temporarily stop electric arcs. When hardened, glue can also be used to, as a climbable platform. Ooh, interesting. Um, I'm gonna press this one to fire. Okay. Cool. Seems easy enough. Maybe. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. A lot. I don't even know how many that was. This is a lot though. Um, how do I leave the Jeez. I knew I was 
spin back. What? Didn't I do a quick save? Oh, okay, it saved what I went over here. Okay. Typhon Anthrophantasmus. Keep moving. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it didn't take me that far back. Good. Good, good. Okay. I killed him without him attacking me at all. I'm gonna quick save. you see in the display case. Normally it's a fake, but I swapped in a real one for you. The neuromods are critical. You won't survive without using them to install new aptitudes. Mm -hmm. I've already updated your transcribe with the list you requested. Take a look. Everything you know is about to change. Okay, so it, it, uh, they don't stay like that for that long. Um, how do I change? Okay. know how to get in there. I guess I will have to come back.
Okay. The Neuromod is a revolutionary transstar invention that allows you to learn new skills and abilities. Press N to open your transcribe and navigate to the Neuromods section. Okay. Um. Ooh. Ooh, I get to decide what I want. What is this? Um, increase your health. That would be helpful. Um, I don't know how many neuromods I have though. I only have one, okay. Um. Lift heavy objects with ease and throw objects further. I think I might want that actually. Uh. Ouch. That's gotta hurt. That'll be useful if you run into barricades or doors with no power. Now, let's get you to the main lobby. Okay. Check this room first. I can't even go in there. Um. Oh. Uh, the Ferris wheel allows you to quickly select and use weapons and eventually psi powder powers. Um, press mouse wheel to open favorites wheel and select a weapon or item. Okay. Oh, okay. Cool. There we go. That will be much better. Uh oh, am I? I'm not changing. Okay. Because I know I have some hotkeys on <laughs> on my um, streaming thing. are not that hard to kill as long as I don't have a million <laughs> gang gang up on me.
I don't know why I want crumpled paper, but... You never know. Alright. I can't pick that up though. But. Ooh. This might be helpful. Oh, that's stupid. Ice cream truck is outside. I don't know what I'd usually use the cigar for, but... Okay. I just like picking up everything. So you never know what you will need. Uh-oh. Okay, there we go. I was worried I wasn't going to be able to get back out. Alright. Time to leave. All right, um, I feel like you're always you ready, call first. Oops. ready for your first real view of the world. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add my stream pretty soon, but I want to see what this is first. Ugh. one is open for you to explore. From the lobby, you can reach other parts of the space station via the bulkhead doors and lifts. Uh... I didn't, wasn't able to read all that, but that's okay. Um, yeah, I think I probably should end my stream here. Um, because I've been streaming for a little over two hours now. Um... How do I... Why wouldn't it let me see? Oh, okay. Wait. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it just... Okay. Um, yeah, uh, I've been streaming for a little over two hours and my wrist is hurting a little bit. Not too bad, but I'm, I think I should probably go and rest it. Because I was planning on playing <laughs> a game with a friend later, so... Um, I want my wrist to be okay for doing that. Um, but hopefully next week, I'm not going to make any promises because I'm not sure how my wrist is going to be doing. 
Um, and I'm not, I'm going to see the doctor next week and I'm not sure how, what she's going to say. Like if I, she's going to tell me that I should just not, um, uh, play games at all or anything and just focus on resting it or what, I'm not sure what she's going to tell me to do. So hopefully though, um, I can stream. Hopefully next Saturday I will be streaming uh, Prey again. Um, because I would like to play more of this game. It is a little scary, but I'm kind of getting the hang of it a little bit. The controls are a little weird. I also would like to be playing with... I think I would rather be playing with a controller, but um, I think I could get used to playing with just a mouse and keyboard. Um, and, uh, yeah, um, I don't think I'm going to raid anybody tonight, um, so, uh, if you want to go check out my other stuff, I'm on YouTube, um, hold on, I'm going to go ahead and exit the game real quick. Um, yes, I am on YouTube. I have a lot of content on YouTube that you can go and check out. I'm also on social media. I'm on, um, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, and I mean, I'm on, <laughs> yes, I am on Twitch. <laughs> I'm on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook as well, though, uh, if you want to go check out my, um, uh, social media and to you stay informed as, um, stay informed of when I'm going to be streaming, um, and what is going on with my wrist and stuff too. Um, if you want to stay up to date with that. And yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. We're lurking. I still appreciate it. Um, even if you didn't say anything, I still appreciate the lurks and, um, yeah, hopefully I'll be streaming again. I'll probably be streaming again sometime next week with some Stardew Valley, maybe The Sims, um, maybe Limbo, and hopefully I will be playing this again next Saturday. Oh, uh, hey, the Batcha. Um, thanks for lurking. I appreciate it. Um, and yeah, thank you, everybody. Um, you'll see me next time.